Yo, what's up, man? This is Style Pilot. I'm back again. I'm excited about this video today. Um, honestly, man, I've been wanting to do this video, and um, honestly, you know, before I started YouTube, one of these videos that I looked up a long time ago was how to distress a T-shirt. Cause I wanted to. This was during the time where like all the, um, you know, the rock shirts and stuff with Kiss on it and Guns and Roses and and. Uh, uh, Led Zeppelin and all that stuff, and people wearing all those shirts. You know, some of those shirts were really, really expensive, and I was like, yo, it's gotta be an alternative to it, or I can make my own shirt. And I had a Yeezy, sh I saw a Yeezy shirt online that was like $300, and some dude, some special dude distressed. I was like, dude, it's gotta be. And my girlfriend at the time, she was like, yo, Style Pilot, it's, it's a way that you can do this a whole lot freaking easier. And just go online. So I went online. I found the guy. I was like, man, this shit, shit is freaking easy. And I'm like, I'm thinking, if this dude can do it, I can do it. If this girl can do it, I can do it. And guess what? I did mine. I made this Jesus shirt exactly. I ended up doing it exactly, or damn near the same way that I saw it online. So today we're gonna do a DIY of how to distress and tie dye or bleach dye a shirt. Now, before we even get started, I want to guys show you guys the collection because listen. I, I was the same guy. If you're watching this video, you're not a subscriber, and you just you try to figure out how to bleach and dye stuff, you probably thinking, like, man, it's probably hard. Guys, if my goofy ass can do it, you can do it. And it only takes, honestly, the bleaching part probably takes three minutes. The distressing part probably takes another five minutes because you're trying to figure out where you're gonna do it. Then washing it dry in between it. Okay, that's about it, man. Now let me just show you before we even get started. I'm just gonna show you the difference. Okay, I bought this. This is I bought this shirt, this ball main shirt. Okay, after I knew how to do all the stuff, this shirt I got. I ended up buying with a gift card, but this shirt was six hundred dollars. Okay, for the distressing. You see how it's strategically placed, all that good stuff, right? Fran on the on the collar, all of that stuff, right? Pretty good looking shirt. Is it worth six hundred dollars? Hell no. You can go and get a shirt from the thrift store, wherever you want to. Forever 21, ASOS, I mean, like, yeah, ASOS, um, um, H&M, all of that stuff, anywhere, and make your own shirt. I got this shirt from H&M, okay? I did this, took me 10 minutes total to do this right here, okay? I cut, I cut the waist, it used to be a super long shirt, it's kind of like damn near a crop top shirt, no homo, and it comes <laughs> to my waist, okay? And it's a pretty good looking shirt, I did this. It looks like I bought it like this, right? Look, this is another shirt, Urban Essentials. I don't know if you guys know about it. I did not buy this shirt like this. I made this. You wanna know how I did this? Got a water bottle with, with a sports cap on it, put bleach in it, put it on a hanger, put the uh, put the bleach on there, spray it, and it dripped down and made a drippy effect on it. So I just squirted it at the top and it dripped down. Look at that. That took me five minutes to do this, and I washed it. Okay, this shirt took the took the bleach really well. Okay, a BBC shirt. This shirt was just teal green. I wasn't gonna wear it because it was an ugly color. Someone bought it for me, and I was like, man, I need to do something with this. Now this is one of my favorite shirts in my collection, just because I tie dyed it. This took me ten minutes. Right, the shirt that I spent the most time on, the one that I, I was inspired by. Okay. Check this out. Now we're not gonna, I'm not gonna get this extensive on it on how to do it, but I did this shirt. It looks like I bought it, right? Like somebody made this. I did this. I made this myself. All of the stress and all of that stuff. On the back, you may not notice it, but look, it has a cross right there. All I did, you see this cross right here? I did that. What did I do? I put some tape on there, I cut it on the edges. And then I barely got a spray bottle and, and tapped around it to make that effect. Look at that. This probably took me the longest. It probably took me an hour to do this because I was really strategic about it. And I got a special, a special spray bottle so it can spray a certain way and all this stuff. I tied up. You see where these little bursts right here? And you'll see what I do with my shirt. But I tied it up right here and made these little bursts. But this, this shirt took bleach really well. I bought this shirt online for like 30 bucks. From the Yeezus tour, and this is a real actual official Yeezus tour shirt. Um, I got lucky and got it for 30 bucks. And guys, this shirt 
I was about to buy a shirt just like this from some special distress and bleach guy online for 300 bucks because I wanted it looks so cool online and I made it myself. Look at that. Alright, so we're going to go right into it. Just remember guys, before we get started, any of these shirts, every shirt is different, every material is different. Some shirts don't take as well as other ones with bleach, so sometimes you have to put more bleach in it. Another quick trip, the tip. Okay, the more bleach, the brighter the tie dye will be. Okay, so on this shirt, since it was already bright, I just used straight bleach. Sometimes you need to mix it. Now, another quick tip, the second tip on the bleaching part. If you want a black shirt to be more of a red tie dye, okay, or you don't want it to get really bright, okay, and you're afraid to get it really bright, get a bucket of uh, vinegar and water and that neutralizes it so as soon as you get it to a certain point dump it in there and it will stop bleaching okay i learned that from some youtube lady okay all right so i don't want to hold you guys too long see you guys in all right guys so here's the shirt all right it's pretty much like a charcoal gray you see the strings on the side i bought it like this from asos i guys i bought this shirt like three years ago I have a lot of shirts in my collection and stuff, um, but uh, sometimes I don't get around to wearing them, man. It's just part of it, but this shirt is perfect for this video, um, what I'm doing right now, so I don't tie dye over the logo. I'm going to cut out this piece of cardboard, so this is something that you guys may need to do if you have a certain um, logo over it and you don't want the tie dye, or you can just block off anything that you don't want on the shirt to have tie-dye effects on. So I'm cutting it off, kind of like eyeball measuring the shirt and the logo and stuff. And uh, bam, look, it's perfect. Okay, look at that. Um, you want to, Some of you guys may see that, you know, hey, yeah, you don't have any cold, I mean, any um, gloves, you got bleach and you're using bleach and stuff. Guys, it's cool, I would suggest bleach. Uh, these rubber bands right here, now you guys see that Yeezy shirt, that I have you rewind it. This is what I did to it. I grabbed the tip and I spent it just like that. And then I wrapped the I tied the uh the rubber band up to it so that so it won't that knot won't get loose. Um it's a little weird doing it and it may be a little hard at first but you get used to it. One thing about this shirt I didn't know you never really know about a shirt that you buy how it would take to the bleach um until you use it. This one didn't take to the bleach too much the way I wanted it to and um, I had to do it twice some of the shirts that you have you might pull a shirt out of your um, <laughs> you might pull a shirt out or buy a shirt and if it even taps if bleach even touches it a little bit it's gonna make a stain on it, it just every material is different I remember a long time ago um, I tried to do a shirt this is when I was going through my phases just I thought this was the coolest thing ever me being able to do this so I did a bunch of shirts just to get good at it before I did that Yeezy shirt, because I didn't want to mess the Yeezy shirt up, right? So I was just experimenting with other shirts and uh, trying to get good at it and know the techniques and way to spray it right and all that stuff. So I did one um, for my ex-lady or whatever, and she had this H&M shirt, and it would not bleach. What's funny is I did it like four or five times, and then I just sat it in a bucket of bleach, and it didn't bleach. <laughs> it didn't bleach, so... Guys, when you're doing this and you're trying to make one of these shirts, like, don't be frustrated. Sometimes using the spray bottle, um, it may not work as well because it's not sitting on the material and fabric. Sometimes you may have to dip it into a bucket of bleach um, and tie off the ends and stuff. But this is the easy and quick way that I'm doing it. So you see how I'm tying up the knots and stuff so I can create those bursts. Now, on this shirt, it didn't come out as well as it did on that Yeezy shirt. If you wind it back. Um, but it came out decent. I just really want to show you guys the technique now. Um, you know, just keep in mind how long it's taking me to do this. Like, it's probably taking me, what, it was about two minutes I've been talking. Um, just to tie this up. Now, the bleaching part is not hard at all. And when we do get to the bleach, you see, I'm over here struggling, trying to put this rubber band on. I don't know. It's like I got a, a Parkinson's or... You know, arthritis or something. I can't get it. I can't get it right. So I'm trying to show you guys how I'm doing it. So I'm just spinning it around 
and then tapping that around and tying it up. So now in certain parts of the shirt, the bleach won't get to it and it'll create that little burst at the bottom, right? So now I'm doing that. So the key to it, one thing I forgot to do I was just, I was so excited about making this video because I, I just think this is cool. I like doing kind of like do-it-yourself stuff with shirts and stuff, but in order to make the tie-dye effect, you got to create wrinkles in the shirt, okay? You can't just lay it down flat because you'll just bleach the whole shirt, if that makes sense, um, which will defeat the whole purpose of you making a shirt. So um, you got to see the strings on the end of this shirt. <clears throat> strings on the end, sometimes they won't, they won't bleach or they won't change any color. I don't know why it does that, but it is what it is. But... Um, so really guys, all you really need for this is a small spray bottle from Walmart, which is less than a dollar, some bleach, water, some scissors, and, uh, toenail clippers. And I'll tell you what the toenail clippers and scissors will be for in a second. Um, some of these guys online that, that do this stuff and they're like heavy, heavy YouTubers and, and do it yourself people and stylists, they tell you that you need sandpaper and. You, man, you don't need all that crap, man. All you need is scissors and a toenail clipper and some bleach and a spray bottle. Um, I ran across a guy that did this technique because I, I thought it was this would take way too long to do the dipping, the bleach dipping and all that stuff. So I ran across him and he was, was crazy. Is this guy does this for a living. I think he lives in like Guam or something like that. And uh, he gets a spray bottle, and he just sprays the shirts down and dumps them in. When it gets to a certain point, look at the spray bottle. And when it gets, when the shirt gets to a certain point of tie dye, he just dips it in, a, dips all the shirts in a big bottle, of, um, a big, uh, a big thing of a uh, of vinegar, and it neutralizes. So I'm about to go into it. So you you're not gonna see the difference in in the shirt. You're gonna see <clears throat> see that the shirt gets wet. See me spraying it down. So, with some shirts, as soon as you start spraying it, it'll start turning real quick, okay? Now, you see me wrinkle it, I realize I didn't wrinkle the corner. So, you're really supposed to wrinkle it and press it in, right? So, I'm spraying dye in the corners. Now, sometimes with some shirts, you got to hurry up so it can be the same. This is a good tip now, pay attention. So, the amount of bleaching can be the same. If it turns really fast, you got to hurry up and turn the shirt over. Don't worry about messing up the front part of the shirt when you turn it over. This this part of it, it's not gonna do that much of a messing up. Now, with some of the like I said, with many of the shirts that I've had in the past, right now I wouldn't have to do that much spraying, man. So I probably got one third of the bottle with water, and you see, I'm like, man, what the hell's going on? So one third of the bottle with water, one third is uh, bleach. So you see, on the other side is gray, right? So I'm crinkling it up. Crinkling it up, crinkling it up, crinkling it up, and now it's spray time. Really going down. I suggest you do this outside if you're going to do it, or do it in the tub at your house, uh, the bathtub. But you know, I don't want my house smelling like bleach. Um, and guys, right now, inside of my, inside of my place, I have water in the uh, washer prepared for me to dump this shirt as soon as so as soon as this is done this part part of the process is done i pick it up with two fingers I walk it into the washer look i'm using all of that all of that bleach normally it does not take that much at all guys so if you get it and all you need is a cup like four or five squares per side see so now you can kind of see where it's going to be at you see where the tie dye is going to be when some parts of it is light some parts of it is dark don't get worried about messing up and then you, yeah, we're all done now. All right, so, so how do you go about distressing this shirt? So, wait, before we get get into that, okay, check it out. Okay, it didn't come out super uh, bright because I didn't let it sit too long, but you can see where it is. Now, remember it, when I told you guys to put the cardboard box over the top, you see what it did right there? It left this part out to where um, it was still gray. Now, this is still kind of wet right now, and I haven't dried it. Um, the strings did not, for some reason, they did not bleach. Um, but you can see the tie dye in it. I actually, I'm actually pretty proud of it. Now, if you let it sit, and remember, every shirt is different. 
So the longer you let it sit, the longer, the longer you let the bleach sit, the longer it will, uh, or the brighter the bleach or the brighter the shirt will be in the tie dyeing part. Okay. Now you can see some of the some of the um, rubber bands are gonna come off in. They're gonna come off in the washer. So let me show you what it looks like when you tie it up like this. Let's see what kind of pattern it comes out with. Let's see what happens. All right. So it kind of makes like a burst. If you can see that, look. It's a little bit different than the normal pattern, but it kind of throws off the normal pattern. Now, now if this was brighter, you'd be able to see it better if I let the bleach sit longer, but it just makes a different pattern sometimes. Let's take off the other ones on the other side. Cause that's kind of a bad example. Maybe I didn't twist it good enough, but you guys get exact. You guys get what I'm talking about, right? Let me show you. You see that? Okay, I know it's, it's only a little bit, but I mean that stuff makes a, a big difference, um, depending on how you want to do it. And you can do your whole shirt like this and tie it up and make it like that. Now, like I said, this may be a bad example, guys. You see, the, you see the difference in the pattern on it. Maybe you don't, maybe you do, okay? But it just depends on how you do the shirt. I have other examples and I'll show you um, after I do this. But you guys wanna know how to distress it. So I'm gonna show you how to distress it real quick, all right? Um, all you need, guys, honestly, you think, you know, you watch some of these other guys when they distress shirts and stuff, they tell you that you need all of this stuff. You, all, you need tweezers, you need these, and you need uh, sandpaper, man. You don't need all that shit. A toenail clipper, scissors. A toenail clipper will do most of the work on the distressing, right? You can get the ends of the toenail clipper right here on the edge and pull, okay? And that's gonna make a little rip, okay? You get it right in here, okay? Get rid of the edge, rip. Get another piece, rip. Right, real quick. I mean, it's and it's real subtle. You see that? It's perfect. It looked like it looks like I bought it this way. Or it's manufactured, right? Do the same thing now. What I like to do with the collar to make it look. Now, the main thing about distressing guys, you don't want to do too much. And I'm not gonna go through here and distress the whole thing, but just know that when you do these distresses and cutting the holes and stuff, when you cut the hole, the best way to cut a hole if you're gonna cut one is to bring it together like that and then cut the tip, okay? I mean, it just depends on how you wanna do it. If you want a big hole, a little hole, I suggest the little holes and then big holes at the bottom. So like, if I'm gonna make a big hole and rip it back, I'll spin it around, cause you, sometimes you never know what you're gonna get. You spin it around and cut a bigger portion of it off. Boom, right? So now, let's see what it looks like. So it's just it's just a bigger hole, right? And you don't want to overdo it because if you overdo it, it's gonna look just it's gonna get corny. You want it to be subtle. Now, normally on the sleeves, like right here on the edges, this is what makes it look cool. Makes it look cool. You can use these right here and pluck right there if you want to. Or what I like to do sometimes, I'll cut a piece off here. Pay attention, man. Cut a piece off here. Okay, cut off the edges. And then I would put the scissor in here. You see how I'm putting the scissors in there? And then cut it up, cut it around a little bit. So that way it frays. You see what it's doing right there? All right, and um, guys, I'm gonna do this a little bit. And then I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you some other examples of shirts I've done. And then I'm gonna show you what I look like with an outfit on with. All right, so this is what it looks like, man. I will put on some distressed jeans with it. Um, you see how it came out? It just all depends on how much bleach you use and all that good stuff. You see what I'm going to put my, put my uh, Lubu's on? I can always dress this up, dress this down. I can cut the sleeves off. Um, man, and the punk rocker look is just dope, dog. Check that out. Throw on a flannel, however you want to do it. All right, guys. That is pretty much it, man. Like.
comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, man, feel free to hit me up. It's not like I have a million subscribers. And remember, you are the flyest motherfucker on earth. I'll see y'all later.